It all started with a promise. A simple and genuine intent to help people connect. We, uh, we worked really hard on making it really easy for people to share their lives in a beautiful way. It's, it's one thing to share a photo, but it's another for that photo to look gorgeous and, and be something you want to keep forever. So, what happened? Oh, these platforms are effectively helping us communicate and stay connected. But is there a bad side to social media? The thing is, social media is designed with the intention of exploiting the human psychology. They were built to command as much of our time and attention as possible. They were built to make us feel good every time we engage with the platform. So, who can blame us for feeling the pressure to present, to get that like or comment for that rush of happy dopamine? But see, this pressure is also where the danger begins. Why did you choose to archive that picture? Why did someone else's post make you feel bad about yourself? We are tying up our self-worth with what others think about us and then we're quantifying it for everyone to see. And we're obsessed. We have to get that selfie just right and we will take 300 photos to make sure. And then we'll wait for the perfect time to post. And in the age of this pandemic, where we are living in a virtual reality, this cycle is intensified. Is the solution then to simply get off social media? It is ultimately just the latest tool for humans to do what we've always done. Connect and tell stories. The pitfalls of social media aren't new, but acknowledging it is the first step. Then, take breaks, curate your feed, and control what gets your attention. Because we get to build this digital age together. Will you join us?